In this video, you'll learn how to customize the frame rate and codec that the recorder uses for each camera for live viewing and recording purposes. We'll start in the camera menu and then under there, profile setup. You'll see that we have three separate tabs. We have a profile that the recorder uses to record the camera. We have a live view profile and a remote profile for use by the mobile app. So starting on the record profile, we can click the drop-down for the profile and choose which profile in the camera we want to use for this purpose. The cameras have a motion JPEG, an H.264, some cameras have an H.265 profile, live 4 and VR, and mobile profiles. The recommended profile to record is the H.265 if your camera has it. If not, choose the H.264 profile. There also is a drop down at the top of the screen if you want to apply the same setting, the same profile to all of your cameras. When you select it, it will then show you the codec resolution frame rate for that profile. You can click the gear on the right hand side if you want to edit any of those settings. You can also add and delete profiles. So if you know you want to do 720p or 1080p at 30 frames, 15 frames, you can make those adjustments right here. You can also click the apply to other channel and push that setting to other cameras of the same model. Here you'll see we can add a new profile if we needed to do that. When you click the apply button, your changes are sent to the camera where they're stored. The live profile lets you control how the video is displayed on the monitor that's connected to the NVR. By default, it's set to auto, where it will adjust based on the resolution and the number of cameras on the screen. There might be cases where you want to change that to a manual configuration, where you can tell it a specific profile to use, or you can tell it to use the recording profile. The Live 4 NVR profile, which is a medium resolution, 800 by 600 resolution profile, is created by the NVR and used in that automatic switching based on what's on the screen. You could also set that to manual to that profile if needed. If you're not using the monitor connected to the NVR, you can just leave this alone at the auto setting. The remote profile is used to send video to the WiseNet mobile app and can be useful when you want to send a lower resolution video stream to your mobile app so you don't use up too much data or bandwidth. The remote profile is also used if you have the dual recording function set up in the recorder.